So you all understand that you're Israelites? What's your name, sis? Kim? Nisha. Nisha. What's your name, brother? Javarius. Javarius. What's your name? Lionel. Lionel. So we got Nisha, Javarius, Lionel. Tavarius. Tavarius. I apologize, sir. Mr. So Benjamin you all Franklin understand Mac that you're Israelites, right? Duffer. What's your name? Mr. Benjamin Franklin McDuffie. All friends, sir. So you all understand that you're Israelites, right? And the message that's been coming out is that you must keep you God's laws. We have yeah. something we need to get done right here. Okay, all praises. You have a flyer? Call that number, call call that number on the number. flyer, man. Hey, sis. 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 You have a question? No, so I was telling him I just didn't want to leave like that, so I worked for a black man. And he will call me three times. So called you three there. times? I'm so just my bus. Let me, let me ask you a question. So your bus is not there now, right? Yes, it's out there right there. It's now. out there now? Yes. It's Psalms 119.59 real quick. Let me show you something real quick, sis. Let me ask you a question. You were told in regards to the pants, right? Do you mind me asking you a question? Your sexuality. You know, it seems like you have a spirit on you. Are you, do you, deal you, women? you deal with men, women? You deal with women? Do you understand that that particular, that particular lifestyle is not of ours? You know that? So the brother was bringing out repentance, right? Let's get, let's get Jeremiah 17 and 4 real quick, sis. So we'll deal with you for a second. Real quick, sis. Because what, what would cause our people, what, for example, why do you deal with women, if you don't mind me asking? Because you love them? You never dealt with a man? So nothing happened to you? You felt like you were born that way? Get Jeremiah 17 and 4. Let me show you something. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. The Most High God is saying, Thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from your heritage, right? What is our heritage? Let's get that. It's Rock 17. We're going to show you what our heritage is and what we discontinue from. And this, it shows you the spirit that's going around why our women don't feel comfortable dealing with men and why our men. Don't feel comfortable dealing with women. Amen. So bring it Go ahead. Go ahead. That's that oh, okay. now, I'm going to show you something. Yeah. This is love, sis. And what we out here to do is fix our people and to help our 17 and 11. Sirach so, chapter 17 verse 11. Beside this, uh -huh. he gave them knowledge uh -huh. and the law of life for inheritance. What did he give us for inheritance? The law of life for inheritance. The Most High God gave us the law of life for inheritance. So these laws, statutes, and commandments that come out, the Most High did not create a woman to be with a woman. He did not create a man to be with a man. Let's get how the Most High created men to be. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 29. Lo, this only have I found. He said, this only have I found. Go ahead. That God hath made man upright. He made man what? Upright. He made man upright. Meaning he made man a man to be a man. Not to dress like a woman, he also yeah. created a woman yeah. to be a yes. woman. Yes. To bear seed, to lie down with yes. a man and to create children. Right. Right? But read on. Let's see what's going on with our people, though. But mm -hmm. they have sought out many inventions. They have what? Sought out many inventions. They sought out many inventions. One of those many inventions is a woman being with a woman. You understand that? Let me ask you a question. Can you bring forth seed? Do you have children? No, but you know of some women that are with women that have children, right? How did they make those children? You know. With, with a woman and a man, right? Yeah. So, hey. so why would you be in a lifestyle where you can't reproduce? That's the anti-lifestyle. Right. And that, that is gives evil God, communication. <laughs> that, that is pushed on our people, and it's accepted. But the Most High did not create you to be that way, sis. You understand that? That's right. Alright, bring it up. Sirach, chapter 17, verse 19. Uh -huh. Every man from his youth uh -huh. is given to evil. It says every man from his youth is given to what? Evil. Uh -huh. yeah. Neither could they make to themselves fleshy hearts for stony. Right, so every man is born with an evil heart. They're given to evil. We're born in sin. Right. But we must be taught by our, really we're supposed to be taught by our parents. But our parents are gone and they discontinue from their heritage as well. So who's going to teach you now is the prophets that are standing before you. That's right. right. And then when you learn, you're supposed to teach your people. That lifestyle is wicked and it's, that lifestyle is wicked and evil. It's against God. I'm going to show you that real quick. Get Romans real quick. Romans chapter 1, verse 24. Bring it out. Wherefore, God 
also gave them up to uncleanness. To what? To uncleanness. Uh huh. Through the lust. Through the what? The lust. Understand that these things that our people are doing, those devices that our people have created, it's due to, to our what? The lust. To our lust. Go ahead. Of their own hearts. Of our own hearts. So we see these things on TV. We see the evil communication. They now they have women kissing women on TV in the school. Oh, they have men kissing oh, men on TV in the school. Daddy, and we daddy, see these things daddy, and then it gets into our mind daddy, that it's cool. Daddy, that it's something that we can do. That's something that we can it can be pleasurable for us. You understand that? Read on. To dishonor to their bodies. To dishonor their body. You're dishonoring your body, sis, when you deal with another sister. Right. It's unclean and it's vile. But we're gonna show you some. Keep on. To dishonor their own bodies uh -huh. between themselves. Go ahead. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Yes, who changed the truth of God into a lie? So let me ask you a question. Are you told that it's, it's acceptable for a woman to be with a woman and a man to be with a man? You're not told that? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not acceptable. It's not acceptable, right? But who changed the truth of God into a lie? Who said that that thing is acceptable? Why are people doing that thing at alarming rates now? Obama. You get the law. Read it. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? So who changed the truth of God into a lie? Go ahead. And worshiped and served the creature. Worship and serve who? The creature. More than the creator. Who is the creature? Who is the creature that our people are worshiping that says, come as you are? Devil can't do it later. Who is the creature that, that tells you, look, look across the street right there. Where's the creature? Worship the creature. This image right here? This is what has our people doing these things and acting like there's nothing wrong. Right. This image right here. This is not the true image of Christ. That's right. Do you understand that? But you walk into one of those sanctuaries right there. They tell you, come as you are. You're acceptable. You can't judge it. You understand that? Your job is to change your ways. Right now, we told you, we're telling you that, that being a, a homosexual is a sin, right? Get the law. 20 and 13. Book of Leviticus, chapter 20 and verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind. It says if a man also lie with mankind, go ahead. As he lieth with a woman. As he lieth with a woman, right? What's gonna happen? What's the judgment? What do you think the judgment is that? Is for that. If a man lives a homosexual lifestyle, or if a woman lives a homosexual lifestyle, what do you think the judgment for that is? Or that was? The old man is. You don't know? That's why we're here. What do you think the judgment is? If a man lies with a man or if a woman lies with a woman, sir? Yeah. I, I what did you say? Know, I, just, I just know by nature of it, I, I don't think it's going to be good. You don't think it's going to be good, right? Read that. Finish it off. Read it from the top again. Hold on. The book of Leviticus, chapter 20 and verse 13. Mm -hmm. If a man also lie, lie with mankind uh -huh. as he lieth with a woman. If a man lives a homosexual lifestyle and if a woman lives a homosexual lifestyle, what's going to happen? Both of them have... No, no, one of them. Both of them uh -huh. have committed an abomination. You've committed an abominable thing. Abominable right. thing. An abomination is something that the Most High God hates. He hates abomination. Yeah. So by doing that, living that lifestyle, you've committed a what? Abomination. An abomination. Go ahead. They shall surely be put to death. They shall what? They shall surely be put to death. Now, the Bible is saying that if you live that lifestyle, you shall surely be put to death. But guess what? Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, came back to give you grace and mercy, to give you an opportunity to repent and change your ways from That's that right. thing. That's right. Read that script for me. Acts chapter 13. Verse 38, uh -huh. be it known unto you, therefore, mm -hmm. men and brethren, that through this man that through what, go ahead. is preached unto you the forgiveness of sin. Read it again. But, I'm sorry, be it known unto you, therefore, mm -hmm. men and brethren, that through this man, that through this man, Jesus Christ, that black man right here, so-called black man right here, That's is what? Right. Is preached unto you the forgiveness of of sin. Preached unto right. you the forgiveness of sins. So whatever lifestyle you in now, it doesn't matter what sin you in. You have a chance at repentance through Christ. That's right. The only thing that you can't, you can't repent for is the, the blasphemy of the Holy Ghost. But y'all ain't involved with that right now because you're not walking after Christ right now. Good. Ezekiel chapter 14 verse 6. Uh -huh. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel. Say to who? The house of Israel. Say to the black Hispanics and Native Americans. Go ahead. Thus saith the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God from this Bible.
Bible here. Go ahead. Repent. Do what? Repent. Do what? Repent. Uh huh. And turn yourselves from your idols. It says repent and turn yourselves from your idols. Our people have created idols in their minds now as well. Read on. And turn away your faces from all your abominations. Your what? All your abominations. Says, turn away your faces from all your abominations. It's not just homosexuality that's an abomination. It's a woman wearing pants, that's an abomination also. Right. You eating shrimp, crab, pork, and lobster is an abomination. Right. Right. So by no means, by me dealing with this sister, does any of you all think that you're exonerated from the laws of the Most High? That's, that's right. right! Luke 13, verse 1 real quick. Bring it on! Luke 13, verse 1. Start at verse 1. There were present at the season uh -huh. some that told him of the Galileans uh -huh. whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifice. So, so there was some that told about Pontius Pilate killing the Israelites that was sacrificing, right? So they, they, they figured they got judgment from the Most High, right? They was put to death, read. And Jesus answering said unto them, uh -huh. Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all Galileans. Said, Suppose ye that these people that, that received the judgment from the Most High God were sinners above all sinners. Suppose that, that homosexual that got put to death for, for being in that lifestyle or got AIDS or something, something like that was put to death and they were the sinners above that person that eats shrimp, crab, pork, and lobster. That's what Christ is asking you. Read. Because they suffered such things. Because they suffered that judgment. Go ahead. I tell you nay. He says no. Hell no. What? But except ye repent. Except you repent. Except you repent. Except you repent. Every single one of our people repent. Or else right. what? Ye shall all likewise perish. Or ye shall all what? Likewise perish. Unless you repent, you are going to die. That's, That's right. right. The Most High God is going to pass judgment on every single person that sins against him. That's right. That rejects Jesus Christ. That does not love God. Do you know how to love God? What is the love of God, brother? Bring it out. It's following his commandments. Following his commandments? Sis, what's the love of God? Do you love God? You love God. So are you willing to change your life? You sure about that? It is going to take some time, but it starts with, you have a flyer? You have a flyer, right? It starts with you calling that number on the flyer. Do not be a stranger to this thing here. Right. This is your life right here. This is where you get salvation. This is how you change. We all need each other. Get on two and, two and one. You got something? Bring it out. Well, let, let me first jump up. But, 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 but I got to be a Muslim for me not to eat pork. You got to be a Muslim to not eat the pork? Yeah, because uh, I want people to know that you don't have to be a Muslim. You want people to know that? So how are you going to let them know? Because, where's the laws Where's the laws found that talks because, about because eating the pork? First thing, because the first thing, uh, when I tell people I don't eat pork, the next question is, are you a Muslim? So where is, and you know why? Where did, where did the Quran come from? What, is, what does the Quran mean? It's a recitation. I mean, they get their information from the five books of the Bible. Do they follow it wholeheartedly? No, they don't. They go right. on. But let me show you what that dietary law is. Bring it out. Leviticus chapter 11, <laughs> verse 1. So this is Leviticus. This is a book in the Bible. Read on. And the Lord spake unto Moses uh -huh. and to Aaron, saying unto them, Speak unto the children of Israel. Yes, speak unto the children of Israel. That's you, brother. What's your name again? Lionel. Lionel. Speak unto the children of Israel. Go ahead. These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. So he's giving it. These are the laws where it's found. This ain't no Muslim law. These laws here was here way before Islam. That's right. You understand right. that? They got their laws from us. That's right. right. Some of their laws. Read. Yeah, verse 7. Verse 7. And the swine, mm -hmm. though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, uh -huh. yet he cheweth not the cud. The swine doesn't chew the cud. Go ahead. He is unclean to you. The swine is unclean to you. So where do we find that? Where do we find it at, Lana? And what is it telling you to do? Uh, eat pork. Not to eat the pork, but there's more than just pork. Read on. Because I think what the pork is of like, their flesh mm -hmm. shall ye not eat. Of their flesh shall you not eat. Go ahead. And their carcass shall ye not touch. And their carcass shall you not touch to eat it. They are unclean to you. They are unclean to you. When you make yourself unclean, you're going against God's laws, you're making your, your, your temple abominable. And the Most High is going to deal with you on that thing. You know? These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters, whatsoever 
have fins and scales in the waters. Whatsoever has fins and scales in the waters. It's telling you those are the things that you should eat. Read on. In the seas and in the rivers, mm -hmm. them shall ye eat. And all that have not fins and scales uh -huh. in the seas mm -hmm. and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters, mm -hmm. And of any living thing. Of any living thing that does not have fins and scales that move in the waters. Go ahead. Which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination. Or what? An abomination uh -huh. unto you. Those things that does not have fins and scales in the water, they shall be an abomination unto you. Now let me ask you a question. You eat shrimp? Does shrimp have fins and scales? So what is shrimp then? According to God. Abomination. Shrimp then is an abomination. We're not supposed to be eating that thing. What about crab? Do we eat crab? You don't eat crab? What about you, sir? You eat crab? How you doing, bro? You eat crab? You like crab? Lobster? Okay. Understand that the most high God, if it does not have fins and scales, catfish. The catfish dinner is a big thing in the Christian church. Right. We're not supposed to eat that either. That's right. I'll throw you a judgment if you go against God's word. Bring it out. Bring it out. The book of Sirach, chapter 38, and verse 15. Uh huh. He that sinneth before his maker. It says he that sinneth before his maker. So the law says you're not supposed to eat these things. They're abominable to you. So you're in sin when you're eating them, right? Read it again from the top. He that sinneth before his maker. Let him fall into the hand of the physician. Let him do what? Let him fall into the hand of the physician. When you sin before your maker, you got no choice but to fall into the hands of the physician. You understand that? So our people with diabetes, your old grandmother getting her foot cut off. When, who, who brought that judgment upon her? That love eating the pork chops. Love eating shrimp, crab, pork, and lobster. Read that from the top again. He that sinneth before his maker. Says he that sinneth before his maker what? Let him fall into the hand of the physician. Let him fall into the hand of the physician. Let him get diabetes, high blood pressure, gout. Right. If they, if they sitting there fornicating outside of marriage, let them get syphilis, gonorrhea, AIDS, herpes. Right. That's let's right. Get all those things to meet the physician. Right. And eventually meet their death. That's right. right. Understand that thing. So the doctor got to tell him first. Exactly. God says go forth and multiply. Right. Oh, oh. Bring it out. You said God didn't say for you to be married. Bring it out. In Hebrews. Oh. Is God's word yeah, in his Bible? Yeah. Did, you, did Jesus say it? Let's get it. Matthew chapter 19. Let's understand. No, we're gonna we're gonna clear this stuff up. Because we said, did we hear Jesus say this, right? So Matthew chapter 19, verse 4. Uh-huh. So what color is that writing, brother? Because red. It's red writing. So when you see red writing in the Bible, who's speaking? That's Jesus. And he answered and said unto them, uh -huh. Have ye not read that he which made them at the beginning uh -huh. made them male and female. So said, have you not read? So this ain't just Jesus writing. He's quoting something. He's, he's referring you to the Old Testament. That's he's right. you to the words that, that came before him on this earth. That's right. Read. And said, uh -huh. for this cause shall a man leave father and mother. Shall a man do what? Leave father and mother. Shall a man leave father and mother. Go ahead. And shall cleave. And shall what? Cleave. And to who? To his wife. And to his what? His wife. So is that not marriage? Yeah. How can you have a wife and not be married? Well, uh, uh, let me show you something about marriage and that multiplying. He was going to take over. Your books. Your book. And they, and they twain. Uh -huh. And they twain together after being married. Go ahead. Shall be one flesh. They shall be one flesh after they become married. After they get married. Read that. Right. You want to be fruitful and multiply. 
and not get married. What's gonna happen? And adultery. And what? And adultery. And adultery. Go ahead. God will judge. The most like God is gonna judge every single man that wants to have sex with a woman and not marry that woman. That's right. Let me tell you, let me show you the spirit you got on you, brother. Get that. In Proverbs, yes. Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 1. Uh -huh. I'm going to show you something about that problem that we're all trying to create confusion in it. Great. The wicked, the what? The wicked uh -huh. flee uh -huh. when no man pursues him. Hold on, Joshua 6, Joshua 6. The wicked flee. Uh -huh. The wicked flee when no man pursues him. When no man pursues him. Of course we did. Right, so but we repent. We bring it down. That's right. There's a difference. Now we're married. There's a difference. Now we're we married. Live, That's we right. Now we're married, brother. We, we live to repent, here. yo. Exactly. So yeah. what is repentance? What is, what is repentance? God, for forgiveness. And doing out. what? What else? Leave it alone. Yeah, Don't leave it this. That Stay means you must there. not do it again. Right. Yeah. So that's what we're teaching our people now. That's right. We're teaching our people, if you've done that, you did wrong, so you, you can't repent criticize, and turn from you your way. You can't criticize the person for something you're not criticizing. Let's get that. So what are you saying? Oh. We can't judge you? Oh. No, you can't. Oh. Not if y'all done it. Bring, Bring you! Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. no. Hey, no. Deal. Deal. You need to sit here and deal. Oh. We ain't worried about Islam. Right. You need to sit here and deal. You need to sit here and deal. Read. First Corinthians chapter 2. Read it. Verse 15. It's a clown, yo. If you, yo, hey, hey, brother, brother, if you're not gonna sit here, stand here, shut your mouth, man, and keep it moving. Yes, shut your mouth, you came over here talking that nonsense, stay right here and deal. That's right. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 15. But he that is spiritual. He that is what? Spiritual. If spiritual, you keeping God's laws. That's right. Judge him. Oh, thank If you stand, judge all things. That's so, yes. Are we passing judgment? Are we over here saying, hey, you a, you a homosexual, we gonna put you to death? Hey, you eat shrimp, crab, pork, and lobster, we gonna put you to death? No. But we judge our people, we correct our people. That's right. love. That's right. right. That is love. In Leviticus 19. Bring it out. That is love that we show our people. Brothers like that, brothers like that, they talk that nonsense because they want to keep you the way they are. Why? That's right. That's the way they are. Bring it out. They don't love God. They don't That's love right. They don't love your people. You understand that? Brothers like that, the door comment in, he's trying to sway you away from the word of God. Right. 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 Sway you away. That's the right. devil. Right. Leviticus right. chapter 19 right. and verse 17. Right. Thou shalt not right. hate thy brother in thy heart. Right. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. We don't want to hate our brothers. So watch what the most side tells us to do. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke. Do what? Rebuke. Uh -huh. Thy neighbor. We are to rebuke our neighbors. That's right. You, hey, brother, you going off. You need to change your ways and come on on this side. So we can stop with all of the wrongdoings that's going on with our people. Free. And not suffer sin. Not upon suffer what? Sin upon We are not to suffer sin on our people. So when we see our brothers and sisters in sin, if we don't say nothing to you, we hate you, brother. That's right. That's right. We hate you. Yeah, we don't. Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge uh -huh. against the children of thy people. Go ahead. But thou shalt love thy neighbor. Do what? Love thy neighbor as thyself. So we love our neighbors. You are our neighbors. The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, they're our people. They're our neighbors. That's right. We love them as ourselves. That's, That's right. right. Our brothers and sisters living some kind of, living the wrong way against God. We love you enough to tell you, hey, brother, you're going off. You need to repent. That's right. right. But let me show you what that brother was doing. Bring it out. Mark chapter 4, verse 15. Bring it out. And these are dead. Uh -huh. By the wayside. These are dead by the wayside. So right now, y'all brothers is on the wayside. Y'all not in here with us. Not yet. Y'all haven't begun your repentance yet. Hopefully you do. That's Don't right. Read. Where the word is sown. We're sowing the word unto you now. We're showing you. We asked about the dietary law. We showed you. The sister was dealing with homosexuality. We showed you. He actually talked about marriage. We showed you. So we're showing you the word. Read. That's right. And these are dead by the wayside. Where the word is so, uh -huh. but when they have heard, when you hear the word, go ahead. Satan, who? Satan, uh -huh. cometh immediately. See, that's right. So the spirit of Satan jumped on my man to come over here to cause confusion. That's right. Well, that's we right. were sowing the word in you. He comes immediately and do what? And take up 
away the word. Take it away the word. They might be feeling somebody standing right next to him that he took the word away from. Following after his foolishness. That's Probably right. the foul his temple with a cigarette. They got to got no fridges to shave his beard. That's and right. That's right. And he's a hard monkey. And he's a hard monkey. So what he asked, the brother asked what our religion was, right? We don't have no religion. Get Psalm 78. I'm going to show you what God gave us. Bring it on! I'm going to show you what God gave because this is not religious, brother. This is our heritage. Right. 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 The high holy days, the Passover, the new moons, the Sabbath days. This is our heritage. Right. Our dress code is our heritage. Right. Right. Bring it out! The book of Psalms, chapter 78 and verse 5. Go ahead. Where he established a testimony. No, he established a religion. A testimony in Jacob. It's testimony in Jacob. The testimony of Jacob that he establishes in this Bible. Read. And appointed a law. A what? A law uh -huh. in Israel. That's right. A law in Israel. A law in Israel. That's what we're bringing back to our people is the laws of God, not no religion. If you want religion, you go over there. You understand it? Which he commanded our fathers uh -huh. that they should make them known to their children. Right, so we commanded our fathers, you, you, black man, so called black man, you're supposed to make this thing, you're supposed to make this known to your children, God's law. That's why you need to learn now. Bring it out! So, chapter 119, verse 9. Uh -huh. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? He's asking, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his ways? Go ahead. By taking heed thereto according to thy word. By taking heed according to the word of God. By taking heed according to the word of God. You took your hat off. You understand? That's the Lord, and you must be you must have your hat off, right? I'll praise him. So I'll pray. Go ahead. With my whole heart. Have I sought thee? Right. Man. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. He doesn't want to wander from the commandments. These is, this is some of our prayer and supplication that the brother was bringing out earlier. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. You don't want to go away from God's law. That's right. You don't want to go. Now, the cross around your neck. What does that stand for to you? It's talking that Jesus wants to for my sins. Jesus wants you to do that for your sins? That's what he went. He represents what he went through for my sins. So let me ask you a question. So yeah. Christ was crucified. He was brutalized for your sins, right? Yeah. Right. If Christ got shot by a gun, would you wear one? A lot of our people are hung from damn trees. How about get a get a get a get an idol around your neck with a with a noose around it? was an instrument of torture for not just Jesus, for all of our people. Right. That's right. Every city of Rome. You understand that? You understand that? Right now, that cross is an idol. You, you can find it in any one of your Christian churches. The Most High God told us not to deal with idols. That's you right! That? Matter of fact, the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 18. Uh -huh. Bring it out! What profited the graven image? It says, what profited the graven image? Go ahead. That the maker thereof have graven the molten image. The molten image, because you'll get a cross in gold, silver, go ahead. And a teacher of lies. A teacher of lies. Let me ask you a question. When you wear that cross yeah. in, in, in respect to Jesus Christ, so-called, right? Mm -hmm. Are they teaching you to keep God's laws? When you wear that cross, does that bring you closer to God by keeping his laws? Of course. Of course? Keeping his laws? Keeping God's laws. I mean, the cross ain't got nothing to do with it. What has it got to do with it? Why did Christ die? He died for our sins. And to do what? And because, because Adam and Eve twisted from the start with it. So Christ died him. for our sins so yeah. that we can repent and then have eternal life and right to the kingdom of heaven. That's right. He didn't just die for our sins. He died for our sins so that we can come back to the Most High and repent. That's right. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 8. I am the Lord. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to another. Uh -huh. Neither my praise to graven images. Is that my praise to what? To graven images. So my God is not giving his praise to that cross that you have around your neck. What's the message right? There's the cross around your neck. You understand that? He did not do that. The Most High Spirit is in this Bible. He wants you to obey his laws. When you're dealing with that cross there, you're dealing with Caesar Borgia right here. Right. The, 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 the forerunner the of white supremacy.
Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 22. Hold on, brother. Give it up for you. Ye shall defile also the covering of thy graven images says, of silver. He says, we shall defile also the covering of the graven images with silver. So we're supposed to defile that thing. Read. And the ornament of thy molten images of gold. The ornament of thy molten image with gold. They wear it on crosses. They got molten images of gold on their necks. It's ornaments hanging around their neck. Read. Thou shalt cast them away. Thou shalt do what? Cast them away. The same thing you did today, brother. All praises. Read. As a mistress claw. As a what? As a mistress claw. You know what a mistress cloth is? That's a cloth where a woman has her, her cycle on. If you if you want to come around that thing, what are you gonna do? You're gonna carry you, you probably burn your hand or something like that, try to get the stuff off you, right? So that's how we're supposed to do with those graven images, brother. You understand that? Yeah, yeah. Not Thou shalt say unto it, uh -huh. get thee hence. Get thee hence. Get this thing off my damn neck. Get, get, get away from me. Right? That's it on that. So now, brother, we're telling you that this is not the image of Christ, right? Where can we find the true image of Christ? What, what is Christ's image? If you don't mind me asking. Christ is a black man, right? Why isn't that taught right there across the street? We're going to show you where you can find it so this way when somebody asks you why you believe that thing, you can point them to the Bible. Alright? So let's get Revelations 1. We're going to reveal Jesus Christ to you, brother. Revelation chapter 1. You need to listen up as well, go ahead. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Revelation. The root word of revelation is to reveal. So we're revealing Jesus Christ to you today. Read. Which God gave unto him to show his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Says to show his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Who are the servants of God? Who is he going to show that thing to? In Leviticus 25, the last verse. We're going to show you who the servants are. It's shown to us. No other nation. And, and it's shown to us that are keeping God's laws. It's not just, it's just, just so-called black people, Hispanics and Native Americans. You're keeping God's laws. He's going to reveal that. Read that. Leviticus, Leviticus chapter 25, verse 55. Uh -huh. Bring it out! Or to me, the children of Israel. The, who? the children right. of Israel. The children of Israel. The so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans are what? Our servants. Are what? Our servants. Ahead. They are my servants. They are God's servants. We are his servants. Right. Who I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. He brought us forth out of the land of Egypt. The right. so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are the servants of God. Right. Right. Get that back in Revelation. Revelation. Verse 1. Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. which God gave unto him to show, his, show unto his servants uh -huh. things which must shortly come to pass. Go ahead. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. He sanctified the image that he sees of Christ. He sanctified it by his angel, his servant John. Now jump down to 14 or 13. Verse 13. Uh huh. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. The midst of the seven candlesticks. You see seven candlesticks around this Christ here? What you see? You see a cross around that one, right? Seven candlesticks is right there. Read. One. Like unto the Son of Man. He said one like unto the Son of Man. Someone that looks just like the Son of Man. You understand that? Read. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. Clothed with a garment down to a foot. Because he wore a garment. Read. And girt about the pets with a golden girdle. Uh-huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Says his head and his hairs were white like wool. Who has woolly hair on this earth today? Right, the so-called blacks. Hispanics and Native Americans have woolly hair. Does this image have woolly hair on it? No. So that's false, right? That is not the truth. Read. As white as snow. As white as snow. Go ahead. And you see the white hair there. Go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Says his eyes were as a flame of fire. The whites of his eyes were red. His whites of his eyes were red. Why? Genesis. The book of Genesis, chapter 49 and verse 12. Uh-huh. His eyes shall be red with wine. So his eyes look like, the whites of his eyes look like a flame of fire because they were red with wine. If you if you drink or you know anybody that drinks, when they start drinking wine, the whites of their eyes turn red, right? That's why Christ's eyes were red like fire. Read. Verse 15. And his feet. And his feet now. I'm going to ask you a question before we get to that. Your feet, if you want to take your shoes and socks off, is it the same color as your hand? It's the same color as your face as well. 
Oh. No, your feet is not the same color as your hands. I mean, I'll be yeah, black. <laughs> but I'm saying it's lighter. Of it's course. a little lighter because yeah, yeah, it doesn't get the sunlight. Yeah, right, right, right. But for the for the most part, it's right, the same color. Right, right, right. It's not Caucasian red no, though, right? No, no, right, right. All right, right. Oh, great, great. And his feet like unto fine brass. His feet like unto fine brass. What what color is brass at the river of us? What color is brass? Brown. It's brown, right? Right. Green. As if they burned in a furnace. As if they burned in a furnace. So if you take Metal, if you take brass and put it in the furnace, what color does it come out? It comes out your color, and your color, but this one was burned in the furnace, so he's a very dark-skinned man. Jesus Christ was a black man, and he came for his people. I can say that, I, just, I mean, when you, when you kind of know the name, Yahweh, Yeshua. What is the name going to do for you? I mean, but it, it speaks for itself. Huh? It seems like it speaks for itself. So knowing the name, the name so the name is going to get you salvation. No, not saying that, but okay. uh, it just gives you an idea to say what color he can actually can be with the name Yeshua and Yahweh. It don't sound like it could be a white card. Yeshua, Yeshua. What is that in English? Joshua. They say Jesus. Yeah, but 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 translated in English, Yeshua is Joshua, right? Joshua. You don't think any of these Edomites are, are named Joshua? So-called white man. So the name is not. The name doesn't determine. The, the, the nationalities, especially with us being in captivity. You understand that, that we must keep God's laws. That's right. You understand that? Yeah. So let me ask you a question. Do you under, do you know that you're an Israelite? Yeah. You know you're an Israelite? So what must you do? Obey it. You must obey, right? Yeah. So are you ready to keep God's laws, statutes and commandments? Okay. You have a flyer? Yeah. Give me um, May Hey, what you got? Yeah, give me May Hey. So I'm going to show you something, brother. Because you're saying that now, but understand, by you saying these things and you hearing this word from us, you're marked. Right. You understand that? Now you already I mean, received but, but, the but word. I'm but I'm saying, though, uh, like 35 years of my life, I was telling the brother, it came to me. Same thing with me. You see what I'm saying? So I actually was in the Indian style trying to learn what was a God. Okay. Okay. He told me to get up and go find a mirror. Okay. So I knew I had a mirror in the bathroom. So it, it, it came to me, who are you? You know? Uh huh. I didn't know who I was. Right. And our people don't know who they are. Get Isaiah 1 and 3. I didn't let know me, who I was. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Get out. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1. And Matter of fact, hold that, hold that real quick. Get that, James. James! Oh! Chapter 1, verse 22. Uh huh. But be ye doers. Of the word it says, "Be ye doers of the word." So now you heard the word, you must start doing it now. Read and not hearers, not just hearers, not knowing that you. I heard I'm an Israelite, and I know that I'm not supposed to be eating shrimp, crab, pork, and lobster. But you're still doing it anyway. It says you can't just be a hearer of the word; you must be doing it. Read. That's right. Deceiving their own self. You deceive your own self by coming in front of me and saying, "Yeah, I know I'm Israel. I need to obey His laws." But then you leave off, and then you don't do it for yourself. Don't do it for us. Don't deceive yourself, brother. Read. For if any be a hearer of if, the word. If any be a hearer of the word. Somebody that knows. Go ahead. And not a doer. And you do not do the word of God after you hear it. Go ahead. He is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. He is like a man beholding his face in a glass. So you mentioned you was, you was sitting down Indian style. And you walked up and you looked in the mirror. You beheld your face in the glass, right? You looked at yourself, what did you see? Came to me, I started seeing myself as a Hebrew. You started seeing yourself as a Hebrew? But did you see yourself as a repentant Israelite? You saw that? All right, brother, so that means you must start taking your walk now. When are we going to finish this Read on. Let him finish this. Verse 24. For he beholdeth himself. You look at yourself. Go ahead. And goeth his way. And you go your own way. And straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. And then you forget what manner of man you was. So you look at yourself, you say, oh, I'm a Hebrew. But you ain't keeping none of God's laws. That's right! You look at yourself, then you walk away. You forget that you're a sinful individual. Right. You forget that you're not keeping God's laws. That's right! So that's why it says, don't be a hearer of the word, be a doer. That's right. You must do the word of God. And, I, and I'm going to tell you reasons, though. Because you don't see these brothers every day. And, 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 and what you see every day is this. So it's like when I when I pulled up, I, I glorified what I seen when I came 
and, 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 and when I came in the parking lot. Because I don't see this every day. Right. So it's like, you know, we can, who can you, you know what I'm saying, you know, follow and, and, and learn the instruction. Let's show you what the most I did for us now. Go ahead. Isaiah. Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 20. And go the Lord. Give you the bread of adversity. So the Lord give us the bread of adversity. Our people deal with adversity daily. We walk out our houses, we scared to step out and, and meet a police officer, he's gonna put us to death. Our own brothers are gonna put us to death on the corner, try to rob us. He gave us the bread of adversity. We're getting shot down. We have all type of diseases. Everything is going wrong for our people, Read. And the water of affliction. He gave us the water of affliction, because when we're being afflicted, what are we doing? We're crying now. Tears is running down our face, Read. Yet shall not thy teachers. Yet shall what? Not thy teachers. Not your teachers. We are your teachers now, brother. Go ahead. Be removed into a corner anymore. Your teachers are not going to be removed into a corner anymore. You understand that? So you walked out your house. You said you never seen your teachers out here. You was like, damn, I ain't never going to see them. When you came, you was captivated. You wanted to hear the word of God. That's because your teachers are not going to be removed into a corner anymore. Get on the gospel of the kingdom. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. You are going to see your teachers. You're going to see your teachers. You're seeing your teachers today, right? Read. That's it. And thine eye, thy ears shall hear a word behind thee. You're going to hear a word behind thee saying what? Saying, this is the way. Saying, this is the way. You must keep God's laws. Repent or you're going to die. That's what the word you're going to hear. Go ahead. Walk ye in it. Walk ye in it. Walk ye in God's laws. So we're telling you this is the way. Amen. Read that. Amen. Matthew 24. <laughs> It says, um, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all four points. Matthew 24. Hold on a second, brother. So, you're just... And, 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 and back to my name. Matthew, line up. 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 Matthew 24. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 14. Uh -huh. And this gospel of the kingdom. Line up. This gospel of the kingdom. Go ahead. Shall be preached in all the world. This gospel of the kingdom is going to be preached in all the world. So you walking out of your house today thinking that you're not going to see your teachers. Not even It's not even on your mind. But you came out and you saw your teachers. We're going to be all over this world here. Read. For a witness. For unto, what? For a witness. Uh-huh. Unto all nations. We're going to be a witness unto all nations. Go ahead. And then shall the end come. And then shall the end come. So your teachers is coming out now to bring forth the end. Because once we get enough brothers and sisters to repent, Christ will come back and destroy this place. That's right. We are not here to love this place and to want to sit here. This is not our rest. That's right. Like the two. This is not our rest. You got something? Yeah. Get Second Thessalonians. Second right, right. Thessalonians. Chapter 1, verse 6. Uh -huh. Sin, it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation. It says sin is a righteous thing with God to recompense, to pay back tribulation. Go ahead. To them that trouble you. To them that trouble you. He's talking to his people. Who's troubling our people? And to you who are troubled, uh -huh. rest with us. He says rest with us. He didn't say rest in this land here. He said, rest with us, they that are troubled. You have all type of issues going on, you need to rest in this book here. Seek patience and comfort from the scriptures. Deal with your brothers that are keeping these laws. Read. When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven. When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven. The black Messiah. Not this man here that got you oppressed now. Not this man here that got you hating yourself and our women hating their own, their own image. Read. With his mighty angels. With his mighty angels, Christ is going to come. Go ahead. And flaming fire. And what? Flaming fire. You're going to burn this place up. You're going to burn up in this place. Read. Taking vengeance on them that know not God. Taking vengeance on them that know not God. You do not know God if you're not keeping his laws. Read. Go ahead. And that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Right. And that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. The gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ says if you do not repent, you will also likewise perish. That's right. The gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ says you make haste and delay not to keep his commandments. Right. You understand that, Read. Micah, chapter 2 and verse 10. Uh-huh. Arise ye and depart. He's telling you to arise and depart. Right now, go ahead. For this is not your rest. This is not your rest. We just saw what your rest was. It says rest with us. Rest with this Bible here. This place here is not our rest. Why is it? Because it is polluted. It is what? Polluted. This right. place here is polluted. That's this place right. It is not clean. Read. It shall destroy you. It shall what? Destroy you. This place here is destroying every single black, Hispanic, and Native American that does not 
destroying our people because they're not keeping these laws. Right. Even with the sword destruction. You're going to get a sword destruction. If you sin against God, you're going to fall into the hand of the physician. Or you're going to be put to death, one or the other. And if you don't get put to death right now, Christ is going to burn your ass up. Right. in the rise of the Most High God's army. Exactly. You understand, sister, you have a part to play with that army. I do, you know I do. You know what I mean? As a sister. I do. You understand that? Let me ask you a question. You believe in God? Yes. You love God? Yes. Let me believe in God. We're going to see how much you believe in God, okay? Okay. And we're not confronting you or anything like okay. that, but you know we hear this a lot. Got it. Sirach, chapter 32, verse 24. Uh -huh. He that believeth in the Lord. So he that believeth in the Lord, right? What are they going to do? Give heed to the commandment. If you say you believe in God, you must take heed to the commandments. Right. Right. You understand that? So let's just, do you believe? First of all, we tell what's your nationality, sis? I don't know. He told me to come ask. Right. So all praises for that thing. Okay. But what's showing our people is that the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. We know that based off the words that are written in this Bible. Uh, Romans 8, 16. We know that based off the words that are written in this Bible, it's prophetic and it's dealing with our situation now. We're going to show you. Romans chapter 8, verse 16. Uh -huh. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit. It says the Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit. So what is the Spirit that he's talking about? The book of John, chapter 6 and verse 63. Uh -huh. you know, it is the Spirit that quickens. It's the Spirit that quickens. It's the Spirit that comes to life. Go ahead. The flesh profiteth nothing. This earthly flesh here, it profiteth nothing to you. Go ahead. The words that I speak the unto what? you. The what? The words that I speak unto you. Uh -huh. They are spirit and they are life. So the words that Christ speaks, and how does Christ speak unto us today? In this Bible. That's right! The words that he speaks unto us is spirit and they are life. So, get that again. Romans, chapter 8, verse 16. Uh -huh. The spirit itself. The spirit, the words in this Bible. Bear witness with our spirit. It bears witness with our spirit. That what? That we uh -huh. are the children of God. That we are the children of God. So the words in this Bible is going to show us who we are. Deuteronomy 28. Bring it out! Hey, little sisters, y'all got a moment to, to hear the word of God as well? I need to hear this. Let me ask y'all a question, man. Come here, come here, come here. What's your, let me ask all of you sisters, come on. What we're doing now is showing our people who they are according to this Bible. Let me ask you little sisters a question. What's your nationality? Like what, what, if, if you were to be asked, who are you or what people do you come from? What would you call yourself? Call yourself black, right? Or or what? What else do they call us? African Americans? Right. What we're showing you now is that your nationality is not black. Black is the color in the crayon box. You do not come from a man named black. African American means you come from two Caucasian people, two so-called white people. Named Leo Scipio Africanus and Amerigo Vespucci. So the question is, who are the so-called black and Hispanics and Native Americans today? Because they damn sure ain't black and they're not African American. Right. So we're showing, we already showed you that the spirit, the words in this Bible is going to show us who we are. So let me show you, let's show you in the Bible now. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. When it shall come to pass, mm -hmm. if thou wilt not hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. It's going to tell you, shall come to pass if we will not listen to the words of the Lord thy God. His commandments. Go ahead. To observe, mm -hmm. to do all his commandments. To observe and to do all of his commandments. Go ahead. And his statutes. And his statutes. Which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So what you're going to find out is that the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans were under a curse from God because we do not keep his laws, statutes, and commandments. But we're going to show you that you are the Israelites according to the Bible based off what is written. Give me uh, 28, 47. 47. Verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. We bring these laws out to our people and they don't serve the Lord thy God with joyfulness and gladness of heart. 
for the abundance of all things. The, oh, the simple fact that you're living, you got a roof over your head, clothes on your back, and food to eat, you should love the Lord thy God. Who has to have to give you that? Those are the necessities that we have today. But we don't serve him with joyfulness and gladness of heart for the abundance of all things, read. Therefore, therefore, he's going to tell you what's going to happen now. Go. Shalt thou serve thine enemies? Serve who? Thine enemies. Uh huh. Which the Lord shall send against thee. So right now we're the serving class. We're serving our enemies now. These people don't love us. We're going to show you how they don't love us though. We're going to serve our enemies for what? In hunger. In hunger. If you want, when you want food, who do you go to for food? Who owns the supermarket? Same people you say you want those KKK. Right. <laughs> right. We don't own none of the major supermarkets, none of the food chains. Go ahead. And in thirst. And in thirst. When you want water, who do we go to? You'll pay a water bill now. Who do you have to go to in order to get water running to your place? Your enemies. If they turn the water in your house now, you're gonna die. Free. And in nakedness. And in nakedness, the clothes you have on your back now. You see your name tags on? Who owns the textiles that created these clothes? Our enemies. We're not going to our own people for that thing. Go ahead. And, he, and in want of all things. In want, in lack of all things. Anything we need, we have to go to our enemy. You understand that? We go to our enemy to find out who we are as a people. They tell us we black. We African American because we went to our enemies for that thing. They don't want you to know who you are. But read on. And he, and he, our enemies, shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. He shall do what? Put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Let me ask you a question. Did this happen to our people? Were the yokes of iron put upon our necks? What people did this happen to? You seen um, 12 Years a Slave? You heard about it? Roots? All the slave movies that our people do not want to see, all of our slave movies that our people are so damn mentally traumatized, they can't look at the damn thing. They don't want to see it. They don't want to hear about slavery. But slavery is showing you that you are the Israelites. That's right! Knowing that you were the slaves, that this thing happened to you, is the best thing you can hear right now. That's telling you who you are. You're God's chosen people. That's right. Read that thing that he shall put. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. He shall put a yoke of iron upon your neck. Until what? Until he has destroyed thee. Until he has what? Destroyed thee. He destroyed you in slavery. They didn't free the slaves. They freed some African Americans to walk around here wild not know who the hell they are. You were completely destroyed. And we're destroyed to this day. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates from all our YouTube channels. Shalom.